Well, yesterday, you know, kind of some angry winds yesterday blowing around here. Uh, today is our settle down day, mm -hmm. but we have more active skies later on this week, more windy days to deal mm -hmm. with. Oh, boy. And I'll tell you what, we probably have the coldest temperatures we felt in about a month coming our way oh. for uh, Thursday, Friday. So, hope you haven't given up on winter just yet. There's going to be more mountain snow hitting the state as wow. well. Wow. So, today, uh, this, this is uh, probably our nicest day of the week. Find a way to get outside and enjoy this one. Got the dry skies out there. The rain has departed southeast and eastern <coughs> New Mexico. Early morning temperatures, lots of 30s and 40s showing up. Do we have 20s? Yes, up around Towson Angel Fire. Those are kind of bitterly cold spots out there where kids may want a winter coat as they're stepping out the door for the trip into school. Uh, 45 currently in Albuquerque. We'll probably cool a few more degrees between now and daybreak. Currently looking at pretty light winds, up to 12 in Las Vegas. This is going to be a day that the winds kick back up for us. It's not going to happen until the second half of the afternoon, but right around dinner time, it does go breezy to windy on us with a 15 and a 17 sustain. Probably talking about wind gusts, so 25 to maybe 27 miles per hour to go along with that. It's this next approaching cold front that will kick up the winds by the end of the day and result in quite the wind swept Wednesday. Not a lot of moisture coming with this weather system, but what it's going to do is move in slowly and then just kind of park itself overhead and it will grind out skies, just kind of uh, squeezing the sponge, if you will, throwing down a couple of gusty showers day by day. Now, what happens here in western New Mexico late this afternoon? This is probably rain that will evaporate before it does reach the ground, and that's just going to enhance your wind gusts around Gallup and Grants and over the Gila area. And we also can't rule out a few dry lightning strikes, and so that'll kind of heighten the fire danger just a little bit. Now we look ahead towards our Wednesday, and a couple of spotty showers are going to be possible in central New Mexico. Most likely the dry, gusty showers and maybe the dry lightning strike inducers, and we also could potentially be talking about uh, the first round of mountain snow moving into the San Juans by the end of the day on Wednesday. And it looks like all this cold moisture is going to kind of pick it on top of the state for Thursday and for Friday, keeping those shower chances around. Just want to give you a preview of Thursday. Friday plays out in a pretty similar fashion. But yeah, these are afternoon temperatures only around 50 degrees for Towson, Santa Fe, and we probably won't even hit 60 in Albuquerque. And again, that'll be the first of two awfully chilly days later this week. Now today, we're actually warming back up across southeast New Mexico. We were only in the upper 50s to around 60 with the cloudy and rainy skies. Today, more sunshine, and you're probably the lightest wind corner of the state here around around Roswell and Carlsbad, single digit afternoon wind speeds. Dry gusty showers possible across the southwest and you're going to see your afternoon temperatures right around 70 degrees or in the low 70s northwest New Mexico. Pretty warm day. Uh, note how we're in the mid to upper 70s in fact. Don't expect much of the rain to materialize but there will be those uh, enhanced wind gusts late in the day. Temperatures upper 60s this afternoon around Santa Fe and Taos. Probably good for some low 70s in Española. And we've got northeast New Mexico with the breezes kicking up by the end of the day but winds not as strong as what we expect for the western part of the state. 70 degrees this afternoon in Moriarty. And we're back in the low 70s here for the Albuquerque Metro. Back a couple above average. Low tonight will be in the low 40s. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Talking about some pretty big time changes. Tomorrow, windier than today. One of those dry, gusty storms will be possible. And then we've got breezy shower chances for Thursday and for Friday. Yeah, those are highs at 58 degrees. I will look ahead towards the upcoming weekend. Skies showing signs of settling down just a little bit. And we'll warm back into the 60s and 70s. But it may not stay all the way dry. Latest pollen count numbers here for you. Three highs on the east side of town, Ash, Mulberry, and Cottonwood. And on the west side of town, Mulberry is the main pollen in the air right now. Todd, Marissa.